Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking. In this video, we're going to do an overnighter in a brand new tent. And as you can see on my back, I've got a brand new Bergen. We'll have a real good look at them, the tent and the Bergen. Let's run this intro. So there's the Bergen guys, uh, with the rocket pockets on, it's 120 litres, you got to buy them separate, okay, it's from Combat UK, and it's your Airborne Bergen, uh, with everything I think it costs £107, so I have used this location before guys, and I've pitched up there with the German Army pup tent, so the tent I've got um, is the, from Highlander Forces, it's the Blackthorn one in uh, MTP, multi-terrain part. I'm going to set that up there. This isn't actually a review, it's just an unwrapping, okay? There's, uh, there's lots of reviews out there. But this is the location, guys. Nice river there, or stream. Yeah, absolutely superb location. It's a bit of a bitch to get to, because you've got to climb down arm. Um, I show you where now. So you got to climb down there. And before there's any wise cracks of me still wearing riggers, my knee is still knackered. Well, I say my knee. When I went to the physio, first of all, he said it was the calf. I went back a week later, still in agony. They said it was the hamstring. And now they're saying it's the knee, so I don't know, but it's just not getting better, guys. But I've I've got out for your entertainment. And for my own, of course. I've got some uh I got some Irish stout with me, which is recommended to me by a friend. I have tried it at home and it's absolutely spot on fair play. And I've also got some uh Pendel and whiskey with me. So with further ado, I'm going to take some layers off because the last thing I want to be doing in a situation like this is sweating because we're still actually winter, guys. And I'll uh, take some layers off and set the tent up there. So I've just Back spent soon. five minutes now just getting rid of all the twigs there, okay? Hoping for a good night's sleep. So just under the lid there, I've got my possibles bag and I've got some entertainment because I'm on my own. Um, I have done a video on this pack. It's the heck stop. Brilliant pack, guys. So I've got my things like my power bank, ah, spare light does, things like that in there. But that just sits under the lid. For food tonight, sweet and sour chicken with rice. I've got two of them. And I've decided to cook on gas on this one, guys. First thing down for protection from the ground and to keep the tent nice and clean is a ground sheet. So here's our tent guys. Highlander Forces Blackthorn One, one person trekking tent and it weighs 1.5 kilograms. 
Uh, the setup time is supposed to be five minutes, but obviously that'll get quicker with practice. It's got a 2000 static head on it, and uh, as I said earlier, I've got the MTP, it does come in other colours. So I'll set this up now and then I'll get straight back to you. So just a little look, guys. So there's your inner, there's your fly. Comes in a, a roomy bag, you won't be fighting with that. Plenty of room in there. You've got the standard pegs you get with tents, so they can be changed out. And you get two sets of poles. One for the head end, one for the foot end. So there's the inner, simple enough. Just put two poles in and peg it out. Easy peasy, Japanesey. When it comes to putting the fly on, tie it on the head pole and the foot pole. It's as simple as that, right? And you just peg out. Okay. So it's up. So nothing wrong with it at all, guys, except for those pegs. They'd be the first thing to go. You know, they got their uses. But um, it's about time these tent companies supplied proper pegs and don't waste their time putting them in because I know we all, we all just bin them. So there you go. So it's up. So as you can see, see, sorry, it's very low profile. It's just superb for the woodlands. That's the kind of, uh, that's the profile of it, look. There's two guidelines here. There's a flap there with a the ventilation underneath. Same on the other side. And what I noticed straight away as well, guys, there's plenty of room behind the fly. So there's a lot of wasted space here, but uh, that's not a biggie. So there is the MTP pattern. Some love it, some hate it. I'm trying to get used to it. See, so it's the same here, and there's ventilation under there. Here's the profile from this end. There's a view we got, look, guys, this morning. Just give me a 360, guys, so you get a feel for it. I haven't put nothing inside yet. I just put the ground sheet underneath. So there it is, guys. So that's a Blackthorn one. Obviously, it's a budget tent, okay? I think it cost, don't quote me, but I sure it was about £52. So there it is. Let's get my uh, sleep system inside. So there it is with the front panel open. You know, you just wrap it up with those toggles there, there's two of them. Same with the, with the mozzie net. There's plenty of room inside, guys. Plenty of room. So the first thing in is my three-quarter self-inflatable mat. Just going over old stuff, guys. There's a dry, massive dry bag, 120 litres, inside my burgan. That there, that's my warm clothing. There's a softy jacket in there, hat, gloves, uh, woolly socks, and seal skin socks. So I've just put the sleeping bag in there now. I've just taken the the Gore-Tex Bivy bag off. I wouldn't need that in there, see? Because it's dry inside and it's clean. Here's my cyclone stove. There's one brew for the morning. Here's my evening meal. There's my burger in there. It's underneath the Dutch Army Bergen cover. I have ordered a MTP 120 litre one, but I haven't arrived yet. It don't matter. But I do think it blends in quite well there, doesn't it? So that's nice and dry now under there, because it is torrential rain dew. Right, let's show you the stout. So there it is, guys. Forged Irish stout. It's 4.2 volume. It's brewed in Dublin and it was recommended to me from Trufas. 
one of the boys. Yeah, I say I've tried it in the house and it's very nice guys, very nice indeed. So I can get cracking on these. Now I only brought two, but I brought whiskey with me as well. Cheers, me dears. Very nice. So that's the stove I'm going to be using uh, a lot more guys, the Cyclone from Combat UK, I'll put a card up now okay, have a look at that, easy to use, reasonably priced, just as good as the top brands. Yeah it started to rain now guys, <clears throat> so here's one for you, what weighs heavier, a gallon of rain or gallon of butane? Boutine, because it's like the fluid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that I've got my shop, i about one night to go camping, guys, but it's Monday night now, and uh, it's the only night off I got from work this week. But um, another reason is because it's torrential rain dew, as I keep saying, so it's going to be a fantastic tester for the tent. So it has started by... We were 3 a.m. I think it said it's going to be lashing down. Seriously rain, raining like. So it'll be a good test that one, guys. But me knowing me, I'll probably be leaving around about that time. No, sorry, not 3 o'clock. Around about, I don't know. I'm always up early, I'm guessing, between 4, 4 and 6. So we'll see. But uh, I'll have a stout now and some beer. And I got some stuff downloaded on my phone from Prime, we'll see red killers, so we'll have a look at that. Right then guys, marks out of 10, okay? Put them down in the comments, <coughs> here we go. This is my bad leg, so I'm gonna use this leg. Oh my God, absolutely terrible. Terrible. Absolutely rubbish, guys. I got one can left, we try to be later. Cheers, guys. Thanks for all the support. Cheers to you all. Right then, guys. Can number two. See if we can do a bit better, is it? A little bit better, but not by much. Terrible. So that's going in with the ration pack, guys. Bit of spice. Can't beat it. British Army favourite. Yeah, they're in there. Happy days. Right, guys. I hope you can see me. And I'm in the tent now. <coughs> and I'm in the short, guys, you all know. 
It's very, very, very tight, guys. Very tight. My feet are touching the end, and my head is also touching the end. It fits me, obviously, there about, just about. But anyone taller than I is going to really, really struggle. That's just me being honest, guys. It's very tight. It suits me, I'll say again. Even though I do feel a bit claustrophobic in there, I'll be honest with you. But anything, anybody tall is going to struggle a lot in here, I'll be honest with you. My recon one, there's a lot more room in it. So that's why we come out and try these things, isn't it, guys? Yes, yeah, very tight. I know I'm a broad guy, but it's it's the length. Obviously, I can lay on my side in it for the width, but it's the length. My head is actually touching the top, and my feet are also touching the bottom. Just something for you to consider, right, guys? Just gonna have a wee dram now, guys. Watch some documentaries on my phone. I'll be getting my head down. So I'll say good night to you now, guys, and I'll speak to you in the morning. Night, night, guys. Sleep tight. Morning, guys. It's 4 a.m. Just woke up. Um, ain't gonna go back to sleep. This is the time I normally get up. Um, it haven't rained yet, which is a shame, really. But, um, uh, yeah, bit of a shame to really want to try the tent out in, uh, in that respect, but it doesn't matter. So, I'll get up now, strike down camp, and head out, we'll have a little chat about this tent, but, uh, there's not much to say, but really everything's great for someone my size. Uh, yeah, and I'm, a, I'm one of the shorter guys, or a squad guys, really shocked, but something I do know is that they do make the the Blackthorn, I think, I believe it's a, I believe it's a Blackthorn 2XL, so that might be something to consider, okay? So I'll have this brew now and we'll have another chat. So there's the three utility pouches, guys. I got my water and mug and racing spoon in there. I got my cyclone stove in there. And I got my basher, pegs and bungees in there. This is the last look at the tent before I square it away. All packed up, guys. Just gonna head out. Right, guys, that's me. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, punch that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider. And thank you for all your support, as always. It's been a pleasure to spend time with you again. You know what it's like. But uh, yeah, um, going back to the tent, there is an XL version, right guys? So, but I'm, I'm the shortest of the shortest guys. I'm five foot five. And I was touching feet to head. I was touching both ends. Okay. So, cracking tent. Nothing wrong with the tent at all. Brilliant. Apart from the pegs. But that's standard on budget tents. Okay. But, uh, go for the XL, guys. Whether you're short or not. So you've got that bit of room and you don't feel so claustrophobic. Okay. So I'm going to head that away now. And I'll see you on the next one. Take good care of yourselves. Ta-ra, guys. Out.